short video guide will cover how to install the Schrodinger software release for use on a single Linux machine, in this case running Ubuntu 12.04 long-term support, and assumes you have administrator privileges. First, we'll open a terminal and check that the system has sufficient disk space, so we'll type df space minus h. We can see here there's 30 gigabytes of available space, which is fine as only 8 gigabytes is needed for all products. Although 25 gigabytes is needed if local copies of the PDB and Blast databases for Prime will be installed. We'll also check that the system version is adequate by typing uname space dash r. For recent Linux distributions, the version reported should be at least 2.6.12, so this distribution is fine. Next, we'll change directory to the directory containing the downloaded installation tar file. Then we'll extract the tar file by typing tar space dash xvf and the name of the installation file dot tar, then enter. This creates a top level directory which we'll change directory into. Note that there is a PDF of the install guide as well as a readme file worth reading. Next, run the install script by typing sh space dot slash install. Next, follow along and enter the information when prompted. If you make a mistake, you can always quit with the control C and repeat the process. So let's press enter to continue. Now here, we'll type in the Schrodinger directory we want the installation to go to, keeping in mind that major releases should be kept in separate directories. By default, it's suggesting to install the software in slash opt slash Schrodinger, but you can change location if you prefer. Here, I'm going to make a slight adjustment and install the software to slash opt slash Schrodinger 2013 2. Then hit enter. And hit enter again to have the script create the directory for me. And enter again to confirm. We'll install the third party items to the default location, otherwise, you can specify another directory. And now for the scratch directory, which is where temporary files and directories are written during calculations. This directory should be fast and on our local disk drive, so here we'll just use the temp directory which is in slash temp and then hit enter. Now here we have a summary of the installation choices and based on the action column we can see that all products will be installed. So we'll type Y then enter to confirm these choices are correct and begin the installation procedure. After the installation finishes, note the instructions on modifying the Schrodinger.host file which is important if you wish to submit jobs to remote machines or to batch queues, and that more information can be found in the install guide PDF. The next step is to set the environment variables to the Schrodinger installation directory. If you're using the bash shell, type export space Schrodinger equals the installation directory, which in this case is slash opt slash Schrodinger 2013 2. Or if you're using the C shell, type set env space Schrodinger space the installation directory. Ideally, you should set the environment variable within the login shell file to avoid retyping this in future. So here, I'll do that for the bash shell. If you obtain Maestro under the Maestro campaign, the license key is already included with the software and installed automatically. Otherwise, once you have requested and received a license key sent to your registered email account, first save it to a known location. Then, assuming the Schrodinger environment variable was correctly set, run the license merge script by typing $Schrodinger slash utilities slash lick merge space dash merge your license file. This merges the new license to your existing license file if present in the Schrodinger directory. You can then run diagnostics by typing $Schrodinger slash diagnostics and to start Maestro by typing $Schrodinger slash Maestro.